Good morning. Thank you so much for attending this year's virtual awards ceremony. This has been a very challenging year. Thank you to the hard work of our families, faculty, and staff. Students have continued to learn and grow. Unfortunately, Mr. LaPlante can't be here because he's dealing with a family emergency. He sends his best wishes and many thanks to students and families for making this year successful. Without further ado, let's begin. Mrs. Clute is going to start us off. Thank you. Good morning. I would like to talk about the iRead test. All third grade students took the iRead test this year. Um, iRead stands for the Indiana Reading Evaluation and Determination. And it measures foundational reading standards and is given to all third grade students across the state each spring. We're proud of the following students for achieving a perfect score on this year's iRead assessment. From my class, Kate Hull. From Mr. McDonald's class, Keely Bell. And Levi Jackson. From Mrs. Stucker's class, Luke Salyers. From Mrs. Wilson's class, Hugo Lopez. And Lillian Rogers. Congratulations to these students for their perfect score on the iRead assessment. Next, Mr. McDonald will present some math awards. Thank you, you guys can sit down. All right, I'll be presenting the math contest winners today. For our math contest, students are given addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division problems to solve. Students must have the mathematical ability to solve these problems, but also be able to listen well. So without further ado, here are the winners. In Mrs. Klute's class, our runner-up was Camden Smith. And our champion in Klute's class is Kate Hull. In Mr. McDonald's class, runner-up, Levi Jackson. And our winner, Keely Bell. In Mrs. Stucker's room, runner-up, Rowan Beck. And their winner, Luke Salyers. And in Mrs. Wilson's room, the runner-up, Landon Gilvin. And the winner, Kavon St. Clair Gibbs. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give them one more round of applause. Go ahead and sit down, guys. All right, and I'd like to bring up Mrs. Stucker. Good morning. 
morning, and thank you for joining us for our awards program this morning. Uh, I'm going to be presenting the, the Spelling Bee Award. The Spelling Bee is extremely exciting. Uh, each classroom has their own, uh, own classroom uh, Spelling Bee. Um, we have a runner-up and a winner of each class, and it's one of the uh, one of the most exciting things we kind of do there at the end of the year. They, they really enjoy that. Um, the spelling uh, words come from our spelling list that we've been working on all year long. Our winner for Mrs. Clute's, uh, runner up for Mrs. Clute's class is Camden Smith. And the winner is Kate Hall. In Mr. McDonald's class, the runner-up is Blake Roberts. And the winner is Kaylee Jordan. In Mrs. Stucker's class, the runner-up is Sophia uh, Chavez. And the winner is Josie Johnson. In Mrs. Wilson's class, the runner-up is Matthew Sheldon. And the winner is Landon Gilvin. Congratulations to these fantastic spellers. Next. Okay, you guys may be seated. Great, great job, guys. And Mrs. Wilson will be coming up. Next, I will be presenting the Extra Math Award. This is a program where the students do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division on their math facts, um, three seconds. Some went on to do it two seconds and some went on to do it one and a half seconds. So congratulations to all of those. In Mrs. Klute's room, Camden Smith. <laughs> Mr. McDonald, Keely Bell. Mrs. Ducker, Josie Johnson. My room, Cooper Wiesner. E Eva Feltus. Josie Welch. Lillian Rogers. Paisley Stevens. Landon Gilvin. Gavon St. Clair Gibbs. Went through it at three seconds and at two seconds. And Braden Hunter went all the way through it at three seconds, two seconds, and one and a half. Way to go. Congratulations to all our winners. Okay. Mr. Scalf, you're up. Good morning, everybody. What's the most important skill in art? 
Now, every day we would talk about that as listening, following directions is the key to the grades in my class. Today, we are looking at that multiplied with your artistic excellence, craftsmanship, doing your best on all the projects, even your exercises. So when I put all this together, we're going to be looking at that, okay? From Mrs. Clute's class, Kate Hall for Artistry. Hold on that. Mace, go ahead and, yeah. Macy McLaughlin for Artistry. And then for out of Mrs. Clute's class, go ahead and walk on down, sweetie. And then the next step up for the medallion will be Kenley Holmquist for Artistic Excellence. I'm sorry, I should have said that we'll give certificates and medallions separate. For my certificates out of Mr. McDonald's class, Ruthie Baker for Art District. Keely Bell, Certificate for Artistry. Brisa Manzano, Certificate for Artistry. Faith Wolliver, Certificate for Artistry. And my two medallions for Artistic Excellence, Ellie Guy and Levi Jackson. Out of Mrs. Starker's class, Certificate for Artistry, Camara Bellafana. Also for art Artistry, Luke Salyers. Yeah, just this, yeah, go on down that way. These are just for the Certificates of Excellence for Artistry, and then we'll do the medallions. All right. For medallions from Mrs. Stucker's class, Davy Holloway and Clayton Larimore. And for the certificates for Mrs. Wilson's class for artistry, Blake Fettig, Jeremiah McKillop. Macy Moss, and for a medallion for artistic excellence will be Eva Feltus, and out of the entire third grade, the cumulative student with the most consistent effort, excellence in craftsmanship is Carlos Reyes. And I believe he's not here today. So he will be getting um, some art supplies of some kind. So congratulations to all of you and thank you for always doing your... You may sit down. Thank you, Mr. Scalf. Everybody's doing a great job sitting quietly and clapping for your classmates. I'm very proud of you. Next up, we have the one and only Mrs. Hazeltine. Good morning. We are going to do the Reading Counts Awards and the Superstar Award and <clears throat> excuse me and the Most Books Read Award. So here we go. From Mrs. Clute's class, the third highest Reading Counts points, Jace Reynolds. Our second highest points, Sawyer Eshelman. And the highest points, Jace Davis. <clears throat> and 
and the most books read, 55 books this year, Jace Davis. And my superstar award goes to Quinn Wooliver. Okay, for Mr. McDonald's class, for the third place highest points, Alina Ignacio Gaspar. Second highest points, Ellie Guy. And highest points in McDonald's, Jude Bruner. And the most books read in Mr. McDonald's class, 88 books this year, Ellie Guy. And my superstar award, Kaylee Jordan. Mrs. Stucker's class, third highest points, Luke Salyers. Second highest points, Rowan Beck. And highest points in Mrs. Stucker's class, Josie Johnson. And most books read, 88 books this year, Luke Salyers. And my superstar, Eliza Sisney. Hey, Mrs. Wilson's class, third highest points, Josie Welch. Our second highest points, Kavon St. Clair Gibbs. And the highest points, Hugo Lopez. And most read books in Mrs. Wilson's class, 62 books, Hugo Lopez. <laughs> And my superstar, Jack Wood. And the most highest points in all of third grade, Hugo Lopez. Yep, he gets the trophy. Give him all a round of applause. Okay, you may sit down. And now, Mrs. Mead. Hello, third graders. Okay, first I have to say I had the hardest time selecting award winners because you're all just so great and I've grown to really love all of you. So this was very, very hard for me. But in um, choosing award winners, um, I looked for, above all, I looked for kids that were always good listeners and participated in music and had great attitudes and then just always tried their best. Uh, whether, whether it was something that was hard that we were doing for you, like maybe singing or playing an instrument, um, no matter what, just gave it your all. So I was really looking for those things when I chose winners. And I've got certificates for kids I feel like did a really great job. And then um, for kids who just really exemplified all of that stuff and um, always showed kingly behavior, I've got a couple medals in each class. So we'll start with Mrs. Klute's class. Certificates will go to Libby Sparks. Camden Smith. Quinn Wolliver, Macy McLaughlin,
Kinley Holmquist. Sophia Bobay. Abram Alshire. Hadley Harrell. And Keaton Scott. Medal Award winners are Jace Davis and Kate Hull. Let's give these guys another hand. Thanks for always being kings in music. You can have a seat. Next up, Mr. McDonald's class. Certificates will go to Valeria Gutierrez. Bella Moo, <laughs> Levi Jackson, <laughs> Alina Ignacio Gaspar, <laughs> Brisa Manzano, <laughs> Jude Bruner. and Ruthie Baker. Medals to Ellie Guy and Keely Bell. Give all these guys another hand. And you may have a seat. Mrs. Stucker's class certificates go to Camara Bilafana, Eliza Sisney, Jordan Wright, Rowan Beck. Maddie Strong, Maddie Trexler, Luke Salliers, and Davey Holloway. And medals will go to Sofia Chavez and Josie Johnson. Let's give these guys another hand. You guys can have a seat. And Mrs. Wilson's class certificates will go to Braden Hunter, Eva Feltis, Jack Wood. Blake Fettig, Landon Gilvin, Jeremiah McKillop, and Paisley Stevens. Medal winners are Ben Wells, not here, and Macy Moss. One more big hand for all of these guys. And thanks to all of you for making my first year teaching music here so awesome. Woo! Thank you, Mrs. Mead. Well, we only have one special teacher's left. Teacher left. 
the one, the only, Mrs. Jackson. You like her look today? This is new for all of us. We love it. You look beautiful. I agree with Mrs. Mead. This is always a very hard decision. At least I know it is for me because I see each and every one of you. I've had you for several years. So I get to see you in a different light. Um, matter of fact, I had my seven-year-old daughter help me draw names out of a hat. That's how hard it was for me to make a final decision. I as well look for kingly behaviors if you are participating in how your skill development develops. So out of Mrs. Wilson's class, I have Ben Wells, which he is absent today, Hugo Lopez, Braden Hunter, Blake Fettig, Paisley Stevens, Taylor Reitzman, Lillian Rogers, Lydian Jones Ridgeway, and the medallions will go to Jeremiah McKillop and Eva Feltus. Let's give these boys and girls a round of applause. You may sit down. Now for Mrs. Stucker's class, I have Xavier St. Clair Gibbs, Luke Salyers, Wyatt Billard, Billiard, Rowan Beck, Sophia Chavez, Camara Bilafana, Addison Strong. Medallions will go to Clayton Larimore and Josie Johnson. Again, let's give these boys and girls a round of applause. You may be seated. Mr. McDonald's class. I have Brisa Manzana, Ellie Guy, Ruthie Baker, Blake Roberts, Case Reed. And Carlos Reyes, which we know he is not here with us today. Medallions will go to Keely Bell and Levi Jackson. Again, let's give these boys and girls a round of applause. You may be seated.
Mrs. Clute's class, I have Keaton Scott. Sawyer Eshelman. Jace Davis. Chandler Cripe. I know my girls offhand. For some reason, my certificates are not with me at this moment. They must have ran away, but I will get them. But I have Lay or Hadley Harrell, please. Catherine Hall. Sophia Babe. Bobby and Macy McLaughlin. And my medal winners will be Oakland Preston. And Libby Sparks. You may be seated. Now on to the fun run. Each year for 41 years we have been hosting a fun run. And it seems like every year it gets better. We have more people who participate. And that's the greatest thing of all, is just participating, going out there and giving it everything that you have. So this year, our fastest boy was Oakland Preston. And our fastest girl is Ruthie Baker. Very nice job, you two. Oh, by the way, Ruthie, Ruthie, how many years have you won the fun run now? Three years she has won the fun run. So it's neat to see how we keep those traditions going. Very nice job, you two. I was unable to give you your field day participation ribbons, and I wanted to make sure that I was able to give those to you, so I decided to wait till today to give them to you. I love field day. I love the fact that you're all participating, even though you may not want to do a certain event, but you do, and you give it everything that you got. So that's the biggest thing, is having a positive attitude, just doing it no matter what. So, I would like for Mrs. Stucker's girls to please come forward. Thank you, ladies. You may go sit down. And Mrs. Stucker's boys. Very nice job. You may sit down. Mrs. Wilson's girls. Nice job, girls. You may sit down. And Mrs. Wilson's boys.
As you can see, there is a big difference between the sizes of boys and girls that we have in our classrooms. That makes a big difference. Ha very good job, boys. You may be seated. <laughs> Mr. McDonald's girls, please step forward. Very nice job, girls. You may be seated. And Mr. McDonald's boys. Very nice job, boys. You may be seated. Mrs. Klutz girls. Very nice job girls, you may be seated and Mrs. Klute's boys. <laughs> Very nice job. Let's give everyone a round of applause for an excellent day. You boys may be seated. Thank you, Mrs. Jackson. Next up is honor roll. We're going to start with A, B honor roll for Mrs. Klute's class. Sophia Bobe. Jace Davis. Hadley Harrell, and Oakland Preston. Next is All A Honor Roll. They'll get a certificate and a medal. Sawyer Eshelman, and Macy McLaughlin. You may be seated. From Mr. McDonald's class A, B honor roll, Channing Bryant, Ellie Guy, Levi Jackson, and Kaylee Jordan. All A honor roll with certificate and medal, Keely Bell and Jude Bruner. Great work, guys. Go ahead and take a seat. Who's next? Mrs. Stoker? Awesome. All right, A, B, honor roll for Mrs. Stucker's class. Kamara Bilafana. Wyatt Billiard. Sophia Chavez. Nevea Henson. Clayton Laramore. Autumn Rombolt, <laughs> Nick.
Noah Schaefer, and Jordan Wright. Great job, folks. Go ahead and take a seat. It's getting a little tight up here because we want to make sure the camera can see you. All A honor roll with the certificate and the medal, Rowan Beck. Josie Johnson. James Ogle. And Luke Salyers. Excellent. You can take a seat. And last but not least, Mrs. Wilson's class, all AB honor roll, Ava Feltis, Blake Fedig, Kavon St. Clair Gibbs, Landon Gilvin. Braden Hunter, James Meyer, Lillian Rogers, Lydian Jones Ridgeway, and Jack Wood. You guys can take a seat. We got some chatter on this side of the crowd. I'm going to wait for that to quiet down. Thank you. All A honor roll. We have two students who are getting the medal and certificate. Hugo Lopez. And Macy Moss. Wonderful, you can take a seat. All right, we're almost there. Last set of awards. These are from Mr. LaPlante himself. He has chosen the students, so just wanted you to know that. Um, he is super proud of you. Again, he said he couldn't make it today, um, but this has all come from hard work on your part and on your teacher's parts. Um, so before I announce those names, go ahead and look at your teacher. Give them a round of applause. We're very proud of them and we appreciate them. Your teachers work tirelessly for you and this has been a year like no other and they haven't given up. So um, they deserve all that praise. Miss Tiki, go ahead and give her a round of applause. And Miss Aldridge, did she, did she help too? Okay, wonderful round of applause for her too. Thank you for getting all this set up and organized. I just came up and grabbed the mic, so you did all the work and you deserve all that praise. Thank you. They were on top of it. And... Mr. Snowberger in the back. <laughs> Go ahead and give him a round of applause. <laughs> Making sure that families can attend virtually. We appreciate you. So I have a King's Awards and then a Principal's Award, and then we're done. Starting with kindness, Lydian Jones Ridgeway. Come on up. You'll get a Principal's Medal for being kind consistently. Thank you for showing integrity at all times, even when nobody's watching. Luke Salyers. For being noble, meaning kind and helpful, Rowan Beck. For 
for showing grit and never giving up in the face of adversity, Keely Bell. She'll jingle all the way. <laughs> and for showing self-control, Jace Reynolds. We're proud of you guys. One more student to be honored with the Principal's Award. Um, this student shows all of the kingly behaviors at all times. And this student is Brisa Manzano. You guys can take a seat. We did it. We're almost there. Are you guys ready for fourth grade? The teachers are ready for you. So thank you for this time. Thank you for being such a wonderful audience and being respectful. Even if you're not walking away with an award today, well, I guess you got the field day award, but you still mean the world to us. We love every single one of you and we're glad you're a king. Just like announcements. That's it for today. Have a wonderful day and remember. No wonderful. Go ahead and look at your teacher for next steps and have a wonderful rest of your day.
Thank you so much for attending this year's virtual awards ceremony. This has been a very challenging year. Thank you to the hard work of our families, faculty, and staff. Students have continued to learn and grow. Unfortunately, Mr. LaPlante can't be here because he's dealing with a family emergency. He sends his best wishes and many thanks to students and families for making this year successful. Without further ado, we're going to start awards with Mr. Amor. Thank you, Mrs. Amor. Um, I want to thank my class. Uh, I wish everyone could get an award today. We talked about that. There are so many great personalities and artists, and uh, the sense of humor in my room is great. Um, we do have a list of academic awards, uh, but I just wanted to make sure I thank my class. And um, my class, give yourselves a, a round of applause for surviving a tough year. OK. Up for the awards. Um, for math, we did a top math uh, recipient. This person had the highest iReady score for the entire year. Uh, this math award winner was Samuel Hall. We did a math iReady lesson champ. Um, we tracked everyone's lessons up completed and passed throughout the entire year. Uh, this student passed 85 lessons for the year in math, which is incredible. Um, our math iReady lesson champ is Chase Lobenthal. Our math fact champ. Uh, this was an easy one. He's one that he graduated. Uh, he graduated uh, extra math early. I, I uh, had to uh, change his time to two seconds and one and a half seconds, and every time he, he knocked it out of the park. But our math fact champ is Miles Johnson. Test, test. All right. That last winner was Miles Johnson for the Math Fact Champ. Good job, Miles. Our ELA award winner, uh, again, the highest score in iReady for the year in uh, English language arts, and that is Samuel Hall. Our ELA, he gets the medal. Sam will get the medal. <laughs> Our ELA I Ready Lesson champ, this young lady. Uh, passed over 100 lessons for the year in ELA. Um, we had to find stickers for her to keep tracking them in our chart, um, but our ELA champ is Kaylin Huff. My kids were involved in a lot of stuff. I, I had a ton of uh, students that were in Science Bowl. Um, our Science Bowl recipients, Ariana Kaufman, <laughs> Chloe Hayden, <laughs> Samuel Hall. Anna Rusky, and Austin Zorich.
guys can have a seat. Good job. How, the, how that group of Science Bowl kids managed to not turn our fire alarms on still amazes me. Um, up next is our Math Bowl participants. First up, Kaylin Huff. Samuel Hall. Anna Rusky. And Austin Zorich. Next, I'm going to recognize our class citizens of the month. Um, these are the all-stars in our, in our classroom and in our hallways. They act right in the cafeteria. They act right at recess. Um, they, they show the true kingly behaviors. Um, and so I'm going to announce, starting with our August to winter, all the way to our May, which hasn't been released yet, but I'm telling you today. Uh, our August, Jacob Dixon, just stand up. <laughs> Kalen Huff. Oh, sorry, you guys can have a seat. Thank you. But I do want my, uh, my students of the month to stay standing. Anna Rusky. Chase Lobenthal. Nicholas Schottler. Samuel Hall. Ariana Kaufman. Traven Perry. And for this month of May, Skyla Burnell. Congratulations, guys. Good job. Next up, Mrs. Bowman is going to give her classroom awards. Thank you so much. I have been blessed beyond measure with another wonderful group of students this year, and I love each and every one of them. All right, let's start with um, my top math student, Kaysen Whiting. He gets a medal. No, no certificate right now, medal. Yeah. Okay. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Um, faithfully in math with our um, iReady lessons, um, and we chart them on a chart, and our most lesson champ for math is Brody Skiles. Um, now for math facts, which is we call it sometimes kill and drill <laughs> every day, practicing those. And that goes to Case and Whiting. My um, reading winner for top reading score is also Case and Whiting. Now we have the reading I Ready lesson champ and that is Joseph Metter. Awesome. Okay. Very good job. All the students have worked hard this year. Um, student council, we have two representatives from my room that were voted on early in the year by their classmates, and that was Malie Dieter and Tucker Smith. Congratulations. Now, 
Um, we have those students can sit down. We got a full group. We'll call up some more. Science Bowl. Two students made the Science Bowl team: Malie Dieter and Hayden Taco. Good job, girls. Okay. And one person from my room made the Math Bowl team: Kaysen Whiting. Now I would like to recognize my Citizens of the Month, beginning with August. If you would stand, you guys may sit down. If you would stand up within our class. Um, beginning in August, Brody Skiles, Hayden Taco, Dane Hall, Ruby Landrum, Ashton Raiderstorf, Baylor Preston, Kaysen Whiting, Jason Bradley, Malie Dieter, and the new one for May, Kaylee Rowan. Okay. Also, if you would sit down, Mrs. Houston sent me an email this week, and she wanted this student just to have some verbal praise. Um, there is one student in the school that was nominated five times for King's Court, and it was Jason Bradley. Thank you. All right. Next up will be Mrs. Davis. Thank you. So I had such a great group of kids. I think this year we've kind of become a little family, and you guys have done such a good job just buying in on kingly behavior and treating each other well and loving each other and it is really really hard for us to pick some of these things so I was glad that on some of our academic awards it was just set in stone who had the highest score on this because I had so many good students it was hard to pick. Um, the first award I'm going to give today is our math fact winner and a lot of you did a really good job memorizing those facts this year and it was close to the end but we did do some competitions to help us figure that out and this year's math fact multiplication award winner is Abigail Alba. Um, the next one is our math I ready lesson champ and the person in my class who finished the most math they passed the most math I ready lessons with over 110 lessons was Emily Craner. I think I did that in the wrong order I did didn't I and then um, my highest math score on our diagnostics in iReady this year was Abigail Alba. Um, and then the highest score this year on English language arts diagnostics in iReady was Emily Craner. And then um, our winner of the most ELA I Ready lessons passed with over 110 reading lessons is Emily Craner. Girls, I think you can have a seat now. Um, Citizens of the Month. This to me is possibly one of the most important awards that you can get because it's an award you can control based on how you treat people and really trying to have those kingly behaviors. And so these students were chosen one a month. You guys got your certificate the month that you were chosen. So today you're just going to stand where you are so you can be recognized one more time for having those kingly behaviors. And those students um, are Abigail Albaugh, Emily Craner, Ronaldo Madrigal, Michael Cardona, Matthew Lopez, 
Roberto Madrigal, Zaley Butcher, Riley Lutze, King Underwood, and then for May, he doesn't know this yet, Dylan Fettig. Good job, you guys. You can have a seat. And now next, Mrs. Watkins is going to come up and present her awards. Um, you guys have been wonderful through wearing masks and kind of a crazy time. And, uh, but I couldn't have picked a better class to go out on. You guys have been wonderful. You really have. So I've been proud of you and will miss you. And I will be looking forward to great things for many of you. Okay, our first, um, award is for our medal for the most um, or highest diagnostic in math and that was Sam Vandenberg. for uh, math scores or lessons in uh, IRATI is, oh, Sam again. Good job, Sam. Okay, then for our uh, math fact winner, sorry, my brain's skipping out on me. Um, had the most uh, highest score for all of our math facts is uh, Cameron Cohey. <laughs> then for highest uh, language arts uh, lessons, is um, um, Guillermo Campos. Huh. Okay, and then our highest diagnostic was also Guillermo. I'm going to go ahead and announce our uh, Science Bowl participants. Okay, first we had Levea Smith. <laughs> Sam Vandenberg. Sandra Hopman, and Cameron Mitt. And um, then for our math bowl winners, or participants, sorry. We had, um, you guys can sit down, sorry. Um, yeah, Sam Vandenberg, Cameron Cohey, and uh, Landon Elliott. Our 
our citizens of the month for the year, I agree with what the other teachers are saying. It's extremely important to have students that uh, follow the rules each day. They know what it means to be a king and try very hard to follow. Um, and those people were Sam Vandenberg, just think, Lana Cook, Gabriella Leeper, Cameron Met, Brooklyn Stone, Addison Williams, and last but not least for the month of May, Spencer Bowman. Thanks for making it a great year, you guys. Okay, you can be seated. Thank you, teachers, and thank you, students. I'm going to give a quick reminder. Please only clap. We're not going to shout between people. I appreciate that. All right, we're going to go into specials. Let's start with Art Awards with Mr. Scalf. Good morning, everybody. All right. Now, throughout the school year, the primary thing that we would do in our and, and the focus of art throughout the year of grading and everything was rule number one, always. And follow. And then I would follow up with craftsmanship, always doing your best. The last thing I always graded on was art. That's reversed today. So we're looking for art excellence and then the other stuff combined. But So now I'm flipping that. So we're going to be looking at that. I'll be giving certificates to individuals for each class as well as medallions and at the end I'm going to give and basically normally I give one top award for the entire grade. I have a tie this year. Okay, So I will start off with Mr. Amor's class for certificates of artistic excellence. Jacob Dixon. Anna Rowski. Grace Trexler. And for amazing artistic improvement, Skyla Burnell. My two medallions from Mr. Amor's class, Kaylin Huff and Sam Hall. Thank you. You may sit down. Okay, here we go. For Miss Bowman's class, my certificate, Kaylee Rowan. Hayden Taco. Kason Whiting. And for artistic grit and improvement, Tucker Smith. My medallions. This one was hard. I actually upped the number to three medallions for this class. The three medallions are Malie Dieter. Dane Hall.
and Maddie Levine. Thank you. You may sit down. Okay, now for Mrs. Davis's class. For artistry, Abby Alba. Elizabeth Breton. Dylan Fettig. My two medallions for Mrs. Davis's class are Claire Fissel and Alyssa Plank. All right, and Mrs. Watkins class. Certificate for Spencer Bowman. Cameron Met. My two medallions, Audrey Overstreet and Emmy Rowe. Wow! Sorry. <laughs> I always do that. I'm terrible at that. Okay, and as we've all been saying how hard it is to do some things, um, and trust me, there are, it just was really tough. You guys may sit down. Um, this one was tough in one way that I didn't have a choice because I was trying to keep it just to one student for the fourth grade getting my top prize award. So these two students will be getting some art sets, okay? But I, I could, it didn't matter how I went through it. One would have a slightly stronger piece, one grading, then the other one would be slightly stronger, and it balanced out every which way. So it was just really amazing uh, between these two individuals. So if these two could come forward and stand here for a second, Ronaldo Madrigal and Mia Roller. Now, as I do in my class, first hand up. Sir, you get first pick. It's always about listening and following. You may sit down. Congratulations, you two. And I believe Mrs. Hazeltine is next. Okay, fourth grade, all year long, before you could turn in a book, what did I ask you? Did you pass a test? And now you're going to know why, because it, all the points add up. So we're going to give third highest points, second highest points, highest points, most books read, and superstar award. Here we go, Amor, Mr. Amor's class. Third highest points, Kaylin Huff. Second highest points, Miles Johnson. And the highest points of Mr. Amor's class, Lillian Hintz. And the most books read, 42 books this year, Scarlett Mayhill. And my superstar award, Skyla Burnell. Good job, Mr. Amor's class. Thanks for doing your best. You sit down. Okay. All right, Miss Bowman's class for the third highest points winner, 
Tucker Smith. Second highest points, Kaysen Whiting. And highest points in Miss Bowman's class, Brody Skiles. Okay, the most books read in Miss Bowman's class, 79 books this year, Brody Skiles. And my superstar award, Joseph Metter. Good job, Miss Bowman's class. Thanks for doing your best. Okay, Mrs. Davis's class. Here we go. Third highest points, Nicholas Bauer. Second highest points, Abigail Allball. And the highest points in Mrs. Davis's class, Emily Craner. And the most books read, 80 books this year, Emily Craner. And my superstar award, always pleasant, always polite, always follows my directions every time I see him, Matthew Lopez. Good job, guys. You can sit down. All right, Mrs. Watkins class, third highest points. I have a tie. I have never had a tie before. Third highest points. Luckily, Mrs. Tiki's on top of it, and she had an extra medal for you. So the third highest points tie, Cameron Cohe and Brooklyn Stone. Second highest points, Landon Elliott. Okay, highest points in Mrs. Watkins' class. Sam Vandenberg. The most books read. Mrs. Watkins class, 43 books this year, Brooklyn Stone. And my superstar, Brogan Younce. Did I say it right, Brogan? Is it Younce? Brogan, is it Younce? Younce, Brogan Younce, there we go. And the highest points in all of fourth grade, 600 points this year. She also gets a trophy, Emily Craner. Good job, guys. You may have a seat. And now, Mrs. Mead. You guys. So I've heard a lot of teachers say, and I will echo, it was so hard to narrow it down and decide who was going to get awards because all of you are so great. And I'm so proud of all the music progress that you've made this year. And I've grown to really love all of you. So you got to know that that me deciding these awards was not based on how much I love you, but on your behavior, attitude, all of that in music class. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so, marvelous music student award. I was looking for students who always listen and participate and have great attitudes. And 
always try your best, even when it's something that maybe is a little difficult for you, like playing a new instrument or singing a new song, always trying your best no matter what. Um, so, and then also kids that exemplify kingly behavior all the time. So I've got certificates for the kids who I feel like did a really great job with all of that, and then medals for kids who just really exemplified all of that. So here we go, starting with Mr. Amor's class. Certificates go to Chloe Hayden. Colton Wooliver. Sam Hull. Ari Kaufman. Tenley Rodebaugh. Kaylin Huff. Traven Perry. And Lily Hintz. Medal winners are Anna Rusky and Jacob Dixon. Let's give these guys another hand. You can take your seats. Next, Miss Bowman's class. Certificates will go to Lindsay Raymer. Millie Rhodes. Brady Raderstorf. Tucker Smith, Dane Hall, Kaysen Whiting, Dodger Musselman, and Baylor Preston. Medal winners are Malie Dieter and Hayden Taco. Give these guys another hand. Up next, Mrs. Davis's class. Certificates go to Ronaldo Madrigal. Claire Fissel. Justin Hall. Dylan Fettig. Elizabeth Breton. Emily Hilton. Riley Letzi. Zaley Butcher. I take so many. It's a big group. I know. Emily Craner. Medal winners are Jennifer Valencia Ayala and Abigail Alba. Great job, everybody. Let's give them another hand. And Mrs. Watkins's class. Certificates go to Audrey Overstreet. Raven Shook, Landon Elliott, Lana Cook, Lavea Smith, Sandra Hopman. Emmeline Rao 
and Brogan Yance. Medal Award winners are Dakota Morton. And Spencer Bowman. Give these guys another hand. And thank you to all of you for making my first year teaching music at CAS so awesome. Mrs. Jackson. I will wait when I have your attention. I as well, along with Mrs. Mead, this is a very challenging day. I have been blessed to have most of you since kindergarten. So to see you grow every year, that's a great opportunity that I get. And there's moments that I see you when you were five or six and now that I see you and how you've changed. So again, it's what's deserving, it's who's deserving, it's your attitudes, it's how you participate, it's your effort. So it's day in and day out. It's not just what I see in the gym class, it's what I see all over the building. Uh, so I had to have some help at home, and my seven-year-old, she had to draw some names for me because when it comes down to that final, it's hard. It's really hard. There, are, there is a lot of talent in this fourth grade class, a lot of talent. And I'm looking at my boys, and it's very hard because you are very talented. Not saying that my girls are not, they are. But my boys, there's a lot of talent, and you're going to go far. So remember, it's up here, it's in your heart, and you're always setting an example. Out of Mrs. Watkins' class, I would like these following students to please come forward. Levea Smith. <laughs> Emma Lynn Rao. Luella Delp. Lana Cook. Spencer Bowman. Cameron Cohey. Jackson Stroud. Respect. Thank you. Medallion winners are Dakota Morton, Sandra Hopman. Let's give these boys and girls a round of applause, please. Thank you. You may be seated. Out of Ms. Da Mrs. Davis's class, I would like to have Dylan Fettig. Zachary Malott. Justin Hall, Abigail Allball, Emilise Craner, Elizabeth Britton,
And medallion honors will go to Roberto Madrigal. And Emily Hilton. Let's give these boys and girls a round of applause. You may be seated. Now we're down to Bowman, and this really was a very difficult decision. Very. So do not be disappointed at all, because I am super proud of you. I really am. Dane Hall. Case and Whiting. Tucker Smith. Mully Dieter. Hayden Taco. Madison Levine. Medallion honors go to Lindsay Raymer and Brody Skiles. Again, let's give these boys and girls a round of applause. You may be seated. Another strong class out of Mr. Amor, um, very, a lot of talent in this room. I would like for Jacob Dixon to step up. Anna Rusky. Scarlett Mayhill, Ariana Kaufman, I also need these boys to step up, even though, um, again, I must have a ghost today because I'm missing some certificates. Miles Johnson, come forward. <clears throat> Sam Hall. And Chase Lobenthal. Medallion honors go to Kaylin Huff. And CJ Wells is not here today, but we will make sure he gets that as well. Again, let's give these boys and girls a round of applause. You may be seated. At this time, every year for 41 years, we have been hosting the Fun Run. To me, it's very special since I've been here 20 years. I've always been a part of the Fun Run. And when Don Bonset and Stu Wick come step down, I promised them that as long as I was here, I would keep that going. And I will continue to keep that tradition going until I leave and step down and someone takes my place. I hope they continue to do that tradition. It's a great tradition. Uh, this year, our fastest girl was Abigail Allball. <clears throat> Abigail, how many years have you won the fun run? She has won the Fun Run five years now. So to me, that's a part of history. So let's make sure we give her a round of applause for that. 
This year, we have Case and Whiting with our fastest boy. But again, if you all participate in the fun run, would you please stand up? Let's really give these fine young women a round of applause because that is a huge, huge commitment. Come on, I don't hear those claps. Let's really give them a clap. Very nice job. You all may be seated. Thank you. Field day. I did not forget about you. I have ribbons for each and every one of you. I'm not big about keeping score because up here I know, I already know. I want each and every one of you to participate, have a great attitude. There are things that you do that you don't want to do, but you put a smile on your face, you went on through and you made it. That is huge. Your attitude, having fun. When I see you smiling, I know I did a good job. That's all that I need is to see smile on your faces and I know I'm good. So I would like for these students to step forward. Mrs. Watkins girls, please step up. followed by Mrs. Watkins boys. Girls, you can sit down, thank you. Very nice job, boys. You may be seated. At this time, I would like for Mrs. Davis's girls to step up. Very nice job. Again, let's keep our attention up here, boys and girls. This is a proud moment. You may be seated. I would like for Mrs. Davis's boys to step up. Great job, boys. You may be seated. Miss Bowman's girls. Very nice job, girls. You may be seated. Miss Bowman's boys. Excellent job, you may be seated. I got it. And I also would like for Mr. Amor, Amor's girls to step forward. Very good job, girls. You may be seated. I would like for Mr. Amor's boys to please step up.
very nice job, boys. You may be seated. I would like to say one more thing. Last year, we held a fun run, and because of the fact that the COVID came, I was unable to give fun run awards, but I did not forget those students, and I wanna make sure that they understand that. So in third grade last year, Abigail Allball and Brody Skiles were my fastest runners. Brody, how many years have you carried on that tradition? Four years he's carried on that winning tradition. So I'm super proud of them, but I did not want that to go unnoticed because that was a different time. But those students will receive their medals and their certificates from last year. I did not forget you. Thank you so much. Why don't you all give yourselves a great round of applause. Thank you, Mrs. Jackson. I know we're getting a little restless. We're on the back half. Uh, go ahead and stretch real quick. 10 second stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, bring it back in. Let's finish strong, people. Wait till voices are off. Student council certificates. Can we do that next, Miss Tiki? Wonderful. We're gonna honor our student council kids and then we're gonna move into Spell Bowl. All right, student council. Abigail Alba. Cameron Cohey. Jacob Dixon, let's hold applause till the end of the names, thank you. Claire Fissel, let's hold the applause till the end. Lillian Heinz, and Audrey Overstreet. All right, now give our student council members a round of applause. Thank you, you may be seated. Next up is Spell Bowl presented by Mrs. Mead. This year was kind of an odd year with Spell Bowl because for the first time it was entirely virtual. So instead of, you know, writing words like we typically do and have a competition where you know, kids come up and write their words on paper, it was all done virtually. And there were even two kids that spelled on competition day from home because they were quarantined. So they had to log in and mute themselves and wait for their turn. And it was crazy, but I'm really proud. Everybody did a really great job. Um, so let's honor those guys. We've got Abigail Alba. Sam Hull. He was one of the quarantined spellers. <laughs> Emily Craner. Anna Rusky. Sam Vandenberg. Kaysen Whiting. Kaysen was our other quarantine speller and the top speller on competition day. So let's give these guys a hand. You guys may be seated. We have a balloon car champion presented by Ms. Bowman and Mr. Amor. Thank you. Um, we know COVID stole so much from a lot of areas 
and fourth grade wasn't able to take some of their Indiana history field trips this year, but the Indianapolis 500 is an important part of our curriculum, and so several years ago, we started a tradition of having a balloon car race, and we did that Friday, and it was wild and rocking, and took us um, over an hour, and we had all sorts of races here in the gym. And so we have a fourth grade champion from Mr. Amor's class. Congratulations to Malin Clipper. Good job. All right, thank you. I have a box for you, too, to put that in so you can get it home, okay? All right, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Whistler. She's our wonderful teacher on the Religious Ed Bus, and she has some awards to present. We're grateful to um, partner with the Cass County Religious Ed Bus and bring them back again and again and again, and we hope it continues. Yes, again and again and again. It's been over 60 years in Cass County, and we're really excited and thankful for Lewis Cass to be a part of that. So um, it's good to see you again, boys and girls, and normally at this time of the day, on Tuesdays, we're getting ready for the Wally bus, but I'm glad I get to see you one last time before you graduate into fifth grade, and we don't have Wally anymore, but... Um, we've had a good year, we've had singing, we've learned truths about God's word and his son Jesus, we've memorized lots of verses, done crafts, and oh, don't forget about the sword drills. You guys have done a really good job learning to look up verses in your Bible, so I'm proud of all of you. Um, but as everything else, like they've said, we have kind of had some challenges and changes with everything, but it was all good because everything changes except Jesus. That's right. Everything changes except Jesus, and we're thankful that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. But because of his unchanging um, word and who he is, you guys have excelled in some things of two, two areas where at the end of the year we do a poster contest for the National Day of Prayer in May, and then in April, you all participated, um, those of you that are on the Wally bus, with the essay contest, and you had different um, topics. We had five topics. You guys did not know about those topics until the day you got on that bus, and you had a half hour to write your essay. So <clears throat> this was very difficult to see some of these essays were all so good to see your heart and what you had learned. But the board of directors, <clears throat> excuse me, when we have our meetings monthly, after April's essay contest, they chose um, the winners from each class. So um, those, yes, and then these will be. Okay, so the first one from um, Miss Bowman's class, I'm just going in the order that you guys show up on the bus. So, Miss Bowman's class is Malie Dieter. All right, and then the essay contest winner from Mrs. Davis' class is Zalie Butcher. Zalie. Is it Zalie? Zaley, sorry, she came last, um, second half, second semester of our school year, so we're glad to have her too. Um, Mr. Amor's class, Chase Lobenthal. And from Mrs. Watkins class, Samuel Vanderberg. All right, let's give these boys and girls a round of applause. All right, thank you guys. You can be seated. All right, the poster contest um, for the National Day of Prayer. Those winners are in Miss Bowman's class. It's Hayden Taco. From Mrs. Davis's class is Matthew Lopez. Mr. Amor's class is Anna Rusky. Yeah. 
and from Mrs. Watkins class, Audrey Overstreet. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, thank you, you may be seated. Again, thanks so much, boys and girls, for being participating. And I'm going to be coming down to all your rooms and giving you all um, a certificate of participation of those of you that were part of the Wally bus. And so I was so thankful to get to spend that little bit of time with you. Thank you. All right, honor roll and then principal awards. I think that's all we have left, correct, teachers? Okay, AEB Honor Roll, Mr. Amor's class. Brylan Berry. Ariana Kaufman. Kaylin Howe. Miles Johnson. Miles Johnson, Scarlett Mayhill, Anna Rusky, Jacob Dixon, Lillian Heights, and all a honor roll with a certificate and medal is Sam Hull. Great job, Mr. Amor's class. You may be seated. AB honor roll for Ms. Bowman's class. Maylee Dieter. Mully Dieter, Brody Skiles, Dane Hall, and Lindsay Raymer. All A honor roll. The whole year, yep, we'll talk to your teacher. All A honor roll is Case and Whiting. Hayden Taco. And Tucker Smith. Great job, Ms. Bowman's class. You can take a seat. AB honor roll for Mrs. Davis's class, Dylan Fedig, Emily Halton, we're having an awful lot of side conversations, I'm going to have to pause, I've asked nicely, we need you to sit quietly so your families at home can hear your names. It's rude to those getting the awards. Claire Fissel. Matthew Lopez. And Reynaldo Madrigal. All A honor roll for Mrs. Davis's class, Abigail Albaugh, Emily Craner, and Nicholas Bauer. You're welcome. Great job, Mrs. Davis's class. 
Last but not least, Mrs. Watkins, Class A, B, on our roll, Cameron Cohey. Landon Elliott. Jordan Hall. Cameron Met. Dakota Morton. And Brooklyn Stone. And Addison Williams. <laughs> All A honor roll, Sandra Hopman, and Sam Vandenberg. Round of applause for Mrs. Watkins' class. Great job, you can be seated. All right, we made it. Miss Tiki, we made it. All right. The principal's awards are left. Before I announce those, we need to give some thank yous. First, to your teachers. Go ahead and turn to your teachers and give them a round of applause. They work tirelessly for you, and they love you so much. So thank you for all your hard work. Uh, thank you to Ms. Tiki, who organized all these awards. You've earned them, and she made sure it happened. And then Mr. Snowberger in the back, go ahead and give him a round of applause. <laughs> Making it possible for people at home to join us. All right, these awards were nominated by Mr. LaPlante. There's Kingly Awards, and then there's the Principal Award. So starting with kindness, Baylor Preston. For showing integrity at all times, even when nobody's watching. Sandra Hopman. The Nobility Award goes to Traven Perry. For showing grit and never giving up, Matthew Lopez. And for having endless self-control, Landon Elliott. The final principal's award that goes to the student that has shown kingly behaviors all day, every day, all year, goes to Anna Ruski. Yes, may be seated. All right, just like I do on announcements, that's it for today. Have a wonderful day, and remember, go ahead and look at your teachers for further instructions. Have a great day.